Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. It's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 4th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button this year news videos, and we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically broken down quite aggressively today. Rallied on Thursday and on Friday and found support here at the the resistant here at the 20 exponential moving average and today we technically fell apart technical indicators they are macd is bearish the stochastic is still bullish the cci is bearish and the rsi is bearish we are at 42 and at this point it looks like we are going to head back towards the previous lows here a break at 90 uh, 35 could open the door all the way down towards uh, 89.18 which is the very lows here so we needed this rally after nearly a month of uh, decline. So we got this rally on late last week, and now it looks like we're going to continue to drop. If we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we have the 50 and the 200 moving average just above. So let's look at oil. So oil is up, and uh, it looks like we are going to target these previous highs here, which is at 60, 65.3. 33 if that basically breaks then we're going most likely going towards 67 and a half and then probably to 70 break below the 50 moving average opens the door to the bottom of the bullish band at the 58 and or probably these previous lows over here at the 57 so technical indicators they are fairly mixed macd is bullish and cci stochastic is flat cci is still fairly bullish and the rsi is flat so let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has yet again rallied today. And um, at this current stage, we are on the edge of being overbought. We are testing the previous lows from last week. So it was basically Wednesday last week. We did get very close to 9.97 and then gave most of those gains back. But Technical indicators are very bullish for natural gas. So we could head towards $3 and then to the very highest over here, which is give or take 3.0882. And if that breaks, then we go much higher. Breakdown from here, we'll most likely find major support at the 20 exponential down at 2.7941. So let's look at copper. So copper has yet again rallied very uh, surprisingly. It looked like we were going to round off your head towards the lows, uh, but uh, we rallied significantly above 1%. And uh, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the stochastic is flat, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. And we're on the edge of being overbought, but uh, copper can get significantly overbought as we were up at 89 over here before falling towards support at the 20 exponential and even the 50 moving average here. So let's look at gold. So gold had a really nice day today. We did fall towards support here at the 20 exponential and then rallied. If we can manage to take out 1800, then we could go to 1850 and then probably if we break the 20, 200 moving average towards uh, the, 1900, the $1,900 level. So it looks like we are creating an upward channel here um, and uh, it'll be seen to be seen if you fall back here and uh, get another support then we could just slowly go to the highs break below here opens the door to the 50 and break below the 50 could open the door all the way back towards this double bottom otherwise technical indicators are fairly bullish so let's look at silver so silver had an amazing day today, up to nearly three uh, percent, and uh, we are now above the middle of the bullish band. We found major uh, support here at the 50 moving average. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around and are very bearish indeed. But we're getting fairly overstretched, so a pullback from here uh, could be expected, um, and uh, before going towards uh, 27 and a half. Break below the 50 moving average, we'll have the 200 moving average right underneath, which should offer some significant support. So let's look at platinum. 
So Platinum also rallied and gave most of those gains back at the end of the end of the session. We found support first of all at the 50 moving average, rallied up towards uh, 12 uh, 39 before giving most of those gains back. But technical indicators are all turning around. So it looks like we are we have reached the bottom here as we have been doing for a real long time now. We have basically been to the top of the bullish band, broke it to the bottom, rallied nearly to the top, nearly the bottom, top, bottom, and then we just continue in this fashion. It is a slight uptrend. It's not really trending sideways, but it's a small uptrend. And uh, we are most likely going to long term head towards 1300. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium um, rallied up towards. Uh, 3000 and then gave most of those gains back and uh, at this current stage we're on the edge of being overbought so just keep that in mind technical indicators otherwise are very bullish but uh, we haven't had a pullback for a really long time we haven't basically tested uh, support down at 20 exponential in the middle of the bullish band for a very long time and uh, considering that we are on the edge of being on the edge of being overbought and at the top of the bullish band that could come at any point. But uh, 20 exponential has offered massive support in the past, as you can see right here. So a pullback from here most likely bounced towards the upside. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did fall and then rally, but we're still down. So at this current stage, we are most likely going to fall back towards uh, support at the 20 exponential, as that has been the pattern of this uh, for the last two two months, uh, more than two months, three months. And uh, yes, at this current stage, a pullback towards the 20 in the middle of the bullish band down here at uh, 2313. It'll most likely be what is going to happen. Uh, buying it up here when we are overbought and uh, overstretched, that is very risky. Technical indicators are still very bullish, so uh, pullback has basically been the best strategy here. So let's look at nickel. So nickel uh, continues the rally. We are trending at the 17,520. Uh, Technical indicators are very bullish and uh, we are on the edge of being our bot and significantly overstretched and pullback towards the 50, 20 exponential uh, is basically what most likely will happen here. We'll have a crossing of the 20 and the 50 and probably a pullback and before going towards 18,000. Uh, Break below the 20, opens the door to the 200 moving average, but that looks very far away at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar uh, continues to fall towards support, which is a two, uh, 20 expansion moving average. We have tested it nearly three times now. Uh, we'll probably stay here for a while before rallying as these technical indicators are all pointing to lower levels. MACD is rounding off here, still bullish. Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish. So 20 exponential is holding, break below that is the 50, down here is 0.16, and break below that opens the door all the way down to the very bottom here at 0.14. Rally from here will most likely find the resistance at 0.1795. So let's look at cotton. So cotton, very similar. We rallied to the top, broke down, found support in the 20 exponential, and then we tried to rally and gave most of those gains back today. Technical indicators here are very mixed. So MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat. So as long as the 20 exponential is holding, then we'll probably continue going higher. So let's look at Kikoa. Yes, Kikoa fell apart on Friday and continues to fall apart yet again. And at the moment, we are probably going to test these lows here, or probably the bottom of the bullish band down at uh, 23.44. Break below that opens the door to these lows here at the 22.33, and then all the way down towards uh, 20.87. Rallies from here will most likely find uh, resistance at the 20 exponential the 50 and the 200 moving average. Technical indicators have all turned around and are very bearish indeed. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has uh, rallied today and then gave everything, ba uh, <laughs> everything back. So 
we never tested the 20 exponential. We'll probably do that. We'll most likely also find major support at the 700, but 20 middle of the bullish band and the 50 did not get tested after this massive rally. We have been trending sideways. It can also be that we'll trend sideways and this will basically catch up in the long run. But uh, these moves are major and this is a major move basically to the downside. But they found support again where we have found support the last few days and that's at 713. Technical niggers are all turning around. MACD is still bullish. Stochastic is flat. The CCI is, uh, is becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish. So it looks like we are going to round off here before going higher. So hope you find it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, good luck and thank you very much.